just went down to the local grocery store and bought a few items for my days here this week. Bought some patate, potatoes. I'm gonna make a nice little lentil soup. There are the lentils. Um, I saw the baker deliver his bread. So got there just in time when they opened. She sliced it up, the owner, Lorena Dona, I think that's her name and how I pronounce it right. Um, bought some pasta, um, some cookies. Um, definitely needed salt and pepper, uh, water, a little milk for my coffee, uh, some Fredo, <laughs> Fredo um, items, frozen items. I've got pistachio. Uh, uh, what are these called? I know what they're called in Spanish, paletas. Um, and then some ice cream there, um, some good old eggs to scramble for this morning, and then some meat and cheeses. Um, again, can't forget the Nutella. So uh, I'm gonna make some breakfast right now, scramble it up. I am here at the house. Uh, just show you around again. I have those doors closed because the sun is coming in. Um, this is actually the living room, as you can tell with the tile, but we've converted it for now into um, our little bedroom. Uh, we took a lot of the furniture out, um, kept a few items, and let's see. It's got a nice high ceiling, Boop. <laughs> and we love it. What we're gonna do is actually paint this. We'll, um, we'll go ahead and seal these cracks that you might be able to see here and then paint this room all white. And it'll act as the sorgiorno or the living room. And again, this has an incredible view of the valley. <laughs> Got some crows living um, in our building, but yeah, this is the view. It's absolutely gorgeous. We have our neighbor working on his um, garden next door, putting up some stone walls that I think may have crumbled down over the years. And then this is looking um, kind of to the quote unquote newer part of Trevento. I'm right on the outskirts of the Centro Storico. And right here is actually um, a ruin that's vacant. So it's gonna be a great day. I'm gonna head out again in a little bit after breakfast, get some items that we need for the house. And take you, got that rug drying because the toilet from the back I think is leaking because this was wet, so I'm getting it um, going, getting it out to dry. That is our garden on the side. We've got three fig trees. Um, we had them weed whack everything right before um, we got here, so the rain started and they were unable to finish it up. So they're going to come back and pick up all these um, residual branches and grass and such. So. Um, right over here is the mayor's office. <laughs> so they have to look down on this garden. So we're trying to trying to keep it at bay. It's crazy. Um, weather's been great. Um, we'll walk into the dining room. Um, so we're gonna get rid of that bookcase. Um, we got rid of this big, huge credenza with a big old mirror on this side. Again, we're probably going to definitely seal up these cracks and then um, paint it all white as well. And then that's just looking into the bathroom, the mop. I had a mop, it was very, very dusty. And then this is out our other window. Yeah, it's a pretty good view. All right, um, until our next adventure. Okay, I have to just add, the reason I was like, breathing so hard when I was talking to you is because I had 
walk down to the piazza and we're at the top of the stairs. And I think from the piazza all the way to our palazzo is about 120 steps. So carrying uh, two bags, which <laughs> I'm not saying weren't heavy, but they kind of were um, because obviously I was breathing hard. Anyway, just wanted to add that in. All right, ciao, ciao.